Hi, hello, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be doing kind of a step-by-step -step tutorial type deal thing of the Gerber daisies that I painted in my last bullet journal setup. Um, some of you guys asked me to make this video, so here I am. <laughs> making this video. Uh, as you can see, I started with sketching out the general shape of the flowers and I started with a circle as the very center and then I made a bigger circle, the kind of dimensions that I wanted the, the whole flower to be. So how big I wanted the petals, this is how big I made the second circle. I am also gonna paint one, one daisy kind of tilting or you can see it from like a three quarter ish view and the main difference here is that you make this circle more of an oval and then you put the little circle the center circle um is is not gonna be like dead in the middle of this oval it's gonna be slightly lower so that's that's basically it so the the petals that you're gonna be painting that are the closest to kind of the viewer or or what you want to call it uh, they're gonna be shorter because you're basically just gonna be seeing the the curved end of them and then the rest is gonna be hidden from your side because this is three-dimensional remember uh, <laughs> yeah not great with words especially not today I'm um, I'm battling a really really bad cold so please excuse the way I'm sounding just like my voice uh, and on top of that, I'm probably gonna be rambling more than normal and I apologize. It's the fever talking. Okay, thanks. Uh, so the, the first thing that I did was I prefer working kind of from the back and then working my way just with the background layers and then slowly working my way forward in the picture. So here I am painting the petals that are gonna be in the back obviously and i decided to go with a gradient i wanted it to be uh, lighter in the center of the flower and then it's gonna transition into this like hot pink at the very edges of, of the petals and basically what i did because these back petals are really there for dimension purposes like they're not going to be the focal point of the picture, so you don't have to be too precise here. I'm just doing like a very, very rough gradient. And I'm also using darker colors here than what I'm going to be using on the next layer, which is going to be like the main layer of petals. And the reason why I'm doing the, the back a little bit darker is to give the illusion of them being kind of further away or like in the shadow type deal. Yeah. That's that's what I did first. The next thing that I did was I took a uh, kind of bubblegum pink. This this pink is so pretty. I, I want to eat it, but I'm not gonna because it's not food. But it's, it looks delicious and I, I love it. Um, basically, what I'm doing now is I'm just painting in a base layer for all of the petals. This is just like a kind of like a mid tonish pink it's not super light i'm gonna go in with some some uh, lighter pink and then some pure white as well just to get some dimension later but as of now i'm just focusing on putting in that base layer and it's a little bit messy but that's okay we're gonna clean up edges and stuff like the very last thing we do so if things are looking messy up until then don't worry about it it's all about layering that's that's like the beauty of gouache it's the fact that you can layer it like if if i did this with watercolors <laughs> watercolors i love you but man like if you mess up like your your toast <laughs> It's, that's it, you have one chance. Uh, you can't really just put another layer of watercolor on and, and save the whole piece. I mean, sometimes you can, but mo most of the time you can't. So this is one of the reasons why I love gouache. Um, while I'm letting that base layer kind of dry and settle a little bit, I decided to work on the stems of the flowers. And here, to complement the pink, I decided to go with a bit of a brighter green and Basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making a green line. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm just paint, painting a line and it's green. 
and now I'm just gonna be shading one side of, of the stem just to give it a tiny bit more dimension but it's, it's so simple you guys it's so simple I'm just making one side slightly darker and then I'm gonna be going in with the first color and just kind of blending that transition out a little bit and that's it that's that's the stem that's the green line <laughs> After that, I decided to go in with that same pink and just uh, keep working a little bit on that base coat because it wasn't completely opaque and you could kind of see that dark pink from the background peeking through more than I wanted it to. So here I am just, just putting another layer of the pink on top of the pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mixing. Yay. Uh <laughs> I started with mixing a really really light pastel pink and as I said before I'm gonna be going in with some pure white because this wasn't light enough it wasn't as big of a contrast as I wanted it to be so um, as for now I'm just uh, kind of doing this transition from the middle and uh, fading it out uh, kind of halfway ish out on the petals and again this doesn't have to be perfect we're gonna do a whole lot of blending and such in in a little bit as for now i'm just trying to get like the general idea down okay here goes the pure white um i'm not pulling this white as far out on the petal as i was pulling the uh, light pink because again I want it to be a transition from the lighter at the center to the darker at the end so uh, that light pink is working perfectly as kind of a uh, kind of just like a transition color so I did a pink just at the very center and then faded it out a little bit towards the, the light pink on the contrasting side I am starting to work on the hot pink edges edges those petals have edges i don't know it's <laughs> the ends is is there a scientific names for for the ends of the petals i don't know i'm just gonna call it the end of the petal uh anyways i'm starting to work on that and i'm just using this hot pink color and it's gorgeous and i i love it basically what i'm doing is i'm again doing the opposite of what i did at the, the very center i'm um, going with the darker color at the very ends and just slowly fading it out not too far though not too far i'm gonna be dragging that mid-tone pink further up in just a little bit because i don't want this hot pink just to take over the entire petal i want it to be just that accent at the very very end okay so you can see now finally i'm starting to clean up the edges and i'm also uh keeping I'm, I'm gonna be tweaking that transition throughout the, the rest of this video so i'm, not, I'm gonna stop commenting on it because you can see what i'm doing um but yeah i started just cleaning up the edges of the petals a little bit and you can start to see the uh kind of definition between each and every single petal and it's just starting to come alive here i am doing a slightly darker pink just to get the transition from the very very end uh, to the middle of the petal a little bit smoother and i'm also gonna be putting this color at the very center kind of coming out from the center of the flower and i know i know i said that i wanted the lighter center and then it's gonna fade into this darker edges but you know because the the center is like inside the flower like it's normal that there would be some shading and stuff in there and therefore i decided to go with that darker pink in the very very center and then highlight um more of the middle of the petal and i feel like this decision was such a good one because all of a sudden it feels like it just came came alive a little bit it was looking a bit flat before not gonna lie just just not gonna lie so i'm very happy that i decided to do that because i feel like that elevated the whole the whole painting a lot so yeah um once i darkened up the center a little bit to bring that more dimensional look into it i decided to also darken up 
the you have these like little clusters or what i don't know what else to call them of petals and uh, they're sitting like right outside the the yellow center and bas basically what i did there was i'm just putting a bunch of little dots there to um, mimic and give the illusion of a bunch of teeny tiny petals without painting a bunch of teeny tiny petals you know this this is not gonna be a photorealistic flower because i'm <laughs> let's let's be honest i don't have the skills for that and also what's the fun in that come on let's just use her creative license a little bit um so yeah basically i'm just creating the illusion of teeny tiny petals but there aren't really teeny tiny petals i like saying teeny tiny petals okay um yeah i'm just putting in some finishing touches now kind of cleaning up the edges a little bit and yeah that's pretty much it i um hope this video was helpful <laughs> i i seriously doubt it because i have no idea what i've been talking about for the past like 15 minutes so um yeah editing this is gonna be a freaking nightmare but that's okay uh i i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys found it helpful especially the ones of you that requested me to do this yeah uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day or night or evening or whatever it is as you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting. Bye!